I said, girl, why you keep calling? I said, girl, why you keep calling? Yeah. She said, I need a new whip. Yeah, cause I know that you're still ballin'. She just wanna go back to the future, so I brought that girl a DeLorean. 21 minutes until I gotta go, so I told that girl I'm gonna slaughter it. was 
blowing up like it was so many people messaging me so i'm like okay i don't know how i'm gonna do my little schedule i gotta get my booking app back up and everything and i'm just like i'm like i gotta get my booking app back up and everything i gotta figure out the days that i want to work i gotta figure out how i'm gonna get this schedule down packed i gotta get my services like my pricing list back up because i had my old pricing list from when i first started so it was like hella cheap i'm like bitch I'm, no, I'm sorry i'm like i don't like my my work speaks for itself, so I'm not gonna be charging no 15 20 dollars, you know, stuff like that. So I'm like, no, so let me edit everything and stuff. And I was gonna have like a system, so I was gonna be like working one week and then off the next and then working the next. And I'm just like, no, like I gotta stay consistent with it because I'm gonna start getting back lazy. So, boom, you know, I got everything up and running and stuff. I started taking clients when I tell you, you guys. I was taking clients from 8 in the morning till about 9, 10 at night. That's how long I was working. Like, I'm not even kidding y'all. My daughter's father was calling me like, you're not done? You, you still working? Like, when are you coming home? You know, stuff like that. So, it's just like, who I was like really running myself dry. So, um... I had to, you know, slow down a little bit. But in the midst of having, like, so many clients, usually, like, you know, I've been doing, like, really good, being, like, real creative, giving everybody what they want, what they, you know, need, all of that type of stuff. Been doing pedicures as well, too. So, I know you guys don't have me on Facebook or anything, but I recently, like, made a status and everything, and it was pretty much standing, like, oh, you can't please everybody because some people gonna love your work some people gonna hate your work which is true it's a it's a given fact like it's it's a hundred percent true and the stress that i got dealing with some of these clients when i tell y'all it just made me want to keep my regulars just my regulars like it just made me not want to grow my clientele it just made me not want to grow my base none of this stuff like the people that i was dealing with was really stressing me out and i dealt with it was like a specific client that i was that i dealt with i did her one time and i had a co-worker that i was working with she came to my spot and everything uh, and she was doing nails, you know, outside of my apartment and everything as well. You know, I had a little section and I gave it to her and everything. And the color that this lady wanted, I didn't have. So I asked, you know, like my coworker and everything. I'm like, hey, do you know, do you got this color, whatever, uh, or something similar to it? She was like, yeah, you know, um, check out this new uh, pattern and everything that I got. I haven't used it yet. I'm not really liking the color pigments and stuff. So, um, you can see if you might like it. I grab it. I try to test it out and everything. I'm like, oh, like, it's really cute. Like, I like it. I don't, I don't know what's going on with you. You know, stuff like that. So, I used the powder and everything on this lady. I tried to use her, the my co-worker's chrome, too. It wasn't, like, applying onto it. None of that type of stuff. It was having all types of problems. So... The lady ends up, you know, messaging me probably like five days later or whatever. And she's like, hey, a nail broke and everything. And I'm just like, I can't remember what I said to her, but apparently like another nail broke and everything. And she was just like, is it all right if I could just, uh, no, no, no. She was, she was trying to get it fixed. And then she ended up rebooking and going to get a soak off. So I was like, okay, no, I didn't have soap off on my thing. So she was messaging me, telling me about the nail breaking and everything. And she was like, I was trying to figure out like, 
how could I get it like just soaked off instead? So I'm like, okay, let me add it on the, let me add it on the book and stuff. And as soon as I added, she booked the, you know, the soak off and everything. And once um she came and everything, we was talking and stuff. We was actually texting beforehand. I was just like, oh, you know, I think it might be the powder because I've never used that powder before. You know, sometimes you, you know, you mix a different powder brand with a different monomer, and boom, it's just. You know, it don't always last, you know, stuff like that. So she was just like, oh, you know, I was thinking the same thing. Okay, whatever. So, <laughs> so I'm like, okay. You know, then once she got to me, I started talking to her and I'm just like, okay, you know, I, I really do apologize and everything. I really feel like I probably like overbooked myself. I was trying to move too fast. Like I just, I think, you know, something it, it was probably my not saying it was necessarily my fault i mean of course i am the tech you know i'm supposed to make sure everything is good but i think it was because i was overworking myself i was rushing myself and everything and i'm literally genuinely having this conversation with this lady you know i'm, I'm apologizing to her and everything and you know she's going along with it all of that type of stuff <sighs> long story short you know when you get with a client and everything y'all have conversations and stuff and then you know you get to talking about things that you've been through people that you're dealing with and i thought you know us having a genuine conversation like i'm talking to her and i'm just like i was talking about another review that i got not too long ago and the review came from somebody i do not know who it was so i'm telling her about this review you know making conversation and stuff while she's sitting and soaking and everything and while she was sitting and soaking, I actually had another student that came over to start her nail class, you know. So I'm talking to both of them, you know. She's soaking, my student's getting set up and everything. So we just, you know, all having a conversation and everything. I'm telling her, like, I don't know who this person is. You know, they they left this review and everything. I can't contact them. I don't, I don't know who this person is. And apparently, you know, that she, when she left her review, she was just like, that left a bad taste in her mouth because she was just like, yeah, she's talking about somebody else and this and that. And I don't appreciate that. She needs to reevaluate herself. And I'm like, it wasn't necessarily like I was talking bad about this person because I don't know who this person is that left a review on my page. Like, I don't know who that person is. So how can I necessarily speak about this person? So, you know, <sighs> get past that you know she left that review and everything i mean and the crazy part was she her she left a, the she left a review already beforehand like it was a good review i mean she was saying like how um like how welcoming how professional i was she was saying how she's coming back all of that type of stuff you know what I'm saying she loved it. and then after i soaked her nails off and everything she decides to wait two weeks Two weeks. Two weeks. So y'all don't see my other hands. But she decides to wait two weeks before she wanted to go back and edit her review. And that's when she was saying all this bad stuff. I went from a five star to a one star. And how she said she won't be coming back and everything. And that I left a bad taste in her mouth and stuff. And I was so confused. So, you know, I texted the lady and everything. I said, you know, had you not told me beforehand that, oh, I was making an excuse about the nails and everything, you would not have agreed with me. You would have been like, okay, you know, instead of saying, oh, yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Instead, you would have been like, okay okay but no you agreed with me so i was just like i'm so confused on like this review that you made and everything like this is not adding up but i said you know i apologize though i apologize if your experience was on the part you know i apologize for this i apologize for that and i'm not i'm not the type of person to be like you know, like ready to fight and ready to argue with you and stuff like that. Like I, I really don't have the time for all of that. And I just was just like, you know, I would I would not have minded giving you a refund. But the simple fact that you waited two weeks later 
after getting your nails soaked off and everything to even speak on the situation i was like i can't give you a full refund but i can give you like half you know just to you know satisfy you some type of way she was like thank you for the apology so i'm like okay whatever you know i cash up you you know whatever whenever i get the chance to and stuff and you know time go by i get a request you know from her you know wanting like i think like 55 dollars or some shit sorry i wanted like 55 dollars or whatever i'm like reject because i said half so you know i did the half of what you know she paid i think she paid like 75 no 70 i think she paid like 70 so i did half of that which was 35 you know so i sent that back immediately when i seen her request and everything so long story short these new people that i've been like dealing with and everything have been like really stressful because i'm just like my regulars or like people that i would new people that i was gaining from being in the shop and everything i wasn't having these problems like I wasn't having these problems at all but now being on my own like i'm actually like experiencing like the real world where you know people can speak their minds you know a lot of people a lot of people are not going to you know it, a lot of people are just not going to be satisfied all the time like it's just it's just so different being on your own versus being in the shop because especially like with being in the shop you get like extra help you get you know a little bit more peace to yourself you know it's just like you just take like walk-ins and stuff like that if you just want to chill out you don't want to overbook yourself or anything and oh my gosh like when i tell y'all y'all have to pace yourself Please pace yourself when it comes down to these clientele. Please make sure that you have like a decent amount of time in between. When I tell you during quarantine, I was probably having about seven people a day. Seven people walking in and out my door. And when you having them back to back to back, especially like when you make a little mess and everything, oh my goodness, like it pushes your time back so far like it pushes it back so far and it's just like man you know being in the shop you know you got extra chairs and stuff like that and you know you could depend on another co-worker cleaning up that session for you and you know moving that person to the table and stuff like like uh like it it, uh, it was just so stressful dealing with all of that stuff and uh, you guys like quarantine quarantine really pushed me to want to actually really really do my own have my own and create my own because i seen the type of money that i made during quarantine and actually working all day getting my money right then and there and everything versus waiting two weeks ahead of you know like before you get your check and stuff like that so it's just like I'd rather I'd rather do this on my own and everything, you know, versus being in the shop. So I do encourage y'all to if this is what y'all wanna do, do it. Because me when I was when I was in the shop, I forgot about myself. I'm not gonna lie, I forgot about myself. Like I just got too comfortable being in somebody else's shop. Cause I was just like, okay, well, you know, I don't, I don't need to be booking people. Like I don't need people to be knowing about me and stuff like that. Cause I'm in the shop. So people are gonna come record all this. Cut it out, cut it out. Don't think like how I was thinking. Don't, don't do that to yourself. Take pictures of your work, take videos, tell people to shout you out, all of that type of stuff. Tell people to, you know, speak about you. Word of mouth is like a beautiful thing and being home quarantined working from home and everything it just grew like my base like even more so it's just like don't don't stop for nobody don't do that and this quarantine although it stressed me the hell out <laughs> although it stressed me out it's like the best thing that i ever 
got to experience this whole 2020, you know, versus the virus, you know, the George Floyd situations and stuff like that is by far like the best thing that I've had because it really grew me as an upcoming boss. Not a upcoming nail tech or upcoming worker or, you know, stuff like that. No, it really grew me as being an entrepreneur, being a boss, being self-made, you know, growing my own brand, you know, you know, stuff like that. Like, it really, really grew me. And from one nail tech to another, if I could just motivate y'all in any type of way, then I most definitely will do so. So I really encourage you guys that if this is something that you want to do, then you should most definitely do it. Don't let nobody stop you. You are always going to go into certain situations that make you take a step back. Like, hold on, is this something that I really do? You know, like really want to do? And the answer is going to be yes. This is something that you really want to do. You're just not going to always, it's not going to always be peaches and creams during the whole process you always gonna have like that little speed bump and everything and it's just you know just keep driving like just keep going like it's gonna get better like the ride is gonna get smoother as you go so like <laughs> by far like this is it's going good you know and i was thinking about having like another um video that i was gonna upload far wise is um because I had somebody that messaged me about, um, you know, like pay and, you know, how does it work and, you know, the signs to look for when picking a, you know, like a shop to work in and everything. I think I'm going to have a video because you guys know I've been in three shops already. Three shops and every last one of them was a different experience. So I'm most definitely going to have that type of video coming out to you guys um about you know like what like the signs to look for when choosing a shop because i think that that would be very helpful you know for people that do want to be in a shop you know i prefer now not to be in a shop honestly but you know unless it's your own then yeah you know get the shop and everything but since being a um like an individual worker, you know, self-employed and everything, I say, you know, go for it, go work, you know, do your own thing and build your way up to the top, you know? So I'm finna go ahead. So I'm finna go ahead and go inside this nail supply store. I will see you guys later with another video. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow me at Female King Nails. Um, you can know you can add me on Instagram, Facebook, all of that type of stuff. Inbox me with questions and everything. And I will respond. So you guys take care.